What's up guys, this is Brett here, brettdev.com, coming at you once again from Chiang Mai in Thailand. And in this video today, um, I'm gonna share with you my best method for learning to code. Um, I get a lot of questions posted to me. Um, people know that I'm a web developer. Um, people know that I have online courses showing you how to build websites and, and um, become a freelancer and stuff like that. Um, so they're asking me questions in the comments of these videos saying, Brett, um, do you think, um, this is a good way to do it? Do you think that's a good way to do it? What should I learn first? All of this sort of stuff. Um, now, it's very uh, depends on what you're learning, obviously, and what you want to do. Um, um, now, what you want to do, when I say what you want to do, I mean kind of like what you're choosing to learn, right? Now, that's not really necessarily what this video was going to be about. Um, but what I want to say, once you've chosen what you want to learn, um, so whether you decide you want to be a game developer, whether you decide you want to be a web developer, whatever, this is more like my approach to learning and how I think you should tackle it, and it's a very good way for you guys to actually learn. So, step one. Um, the first thing you need to do if you want to learn to program in any language you want to learn any code is to read a book, buy a book. You need a holistic overview of what you're planning to try and understand. A bit like when you're learning a language and people say learn the alphabet, because once you know the alphabet, it's a good place to start because you have an overview of everything that's kind of involved in that language because the whole language is made up from these um, letters, right? Um, so buy a book and read a brief overview on what it is you want to learn. Um, so sit and go through it. And programming books are big, so you can't be intimidated by big books because you're going to read a lot of them. So buy a book, read your first one. Um, once, once, that, once you've done with that, you'll have a general understanding of what it's all about. You probably won't understand it. You, once you finish, once you finish your first book on programming, you're going you're to get to the end and you're going to be like, I still don't know shit. Like that's how I feel. Um, that's, I think that's a lot how a lot of people feel. You read a book and you go, well, that was tough. I didn't really get any of it, right? And that's, not gonna, that's always going to be the case because you haven't actually applied any of it, right? So the second step is to build stuff, right? So once you feel like you have a general understanding of the concepts, because in programming languages, across all the languages, um, um, PHP, Java, they're generally the same, right? They're the same principles, right? So once you get what's a, what what's kind of available to you once you know what tools are in your tool bag um, then try and build stuff and, and try and actually implement what you've learned in that book the best books I find that, that teach you that teach you how to code are, are the books that kind of lead by example so as you go through the book and as you learn something they'll be building you can build along with it right so you can just read the book and code and you're kind of doing it at the same time um, if you get to the end of the first book and you really don't get it go back and read it again or what I do is buy a different book that's basically the same. Um, so, because a lot of the time, because it, 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 it's such a complex and technical subject, um, a lot of the issues can actually be the author's explanation of it. So, it's, it's actually very hard. Uh, it's very hard to create online courses for code, let alone write very in-depth books about very technical code. So. Um, from the author's perspective, they understand it, but it's hard to sometimes translate it in a way that you understand it, right? So maybe all you need is a different book from a different author talking about the same stuff, and he'll explain it in different ways and give different concepts and examples that actually you might understand more so than the original book. So after you know all of the tools that are available to you, and you've got a general understanding of how a programming language works, or how HTML works, or how CSS works, or how websites work, um, the next step is to try and build something. Um, now, there's a lot of resources online. Um, in particular, there's a site called CodeCatter, um, and CodeCatter is a kind of like um, example things that you can build. They give you like problems to solve, and you have to use like programming language to solve them, right? So they're very good. Um, so just basically try and find something to build. But what I will tell you is, um, whilst you're learning to program and to code you need to not be doing it you need to have the right motivations and the right intentions right so you need to not be thinking oh well I'm not getting paid for this time or this is a waste of my time you need to be prepared to dedicate hours each day to this um, in which you are not going to be paid in which you are doing it for the pure 
love of it and the enjoyment, right? Um, and be completely happy with that, completely motivated by that and completely comfortable with that. Um, provided you're in that mindset, you make it fun, right? And once you make it fun, um, you're happy while you're doing it. And when you're happy while you're doing it, you learn more because you're not in a negative space, right? So you need to just go away, step number two, and, and build stuff. Um, thirdly, um, I would say you need to make your stuff public and, and get feedback. Um, if you can kind of like pair program with people or if you can distribute your code to like GitHub and share it on forums and become involved in forums and start answering questions on Stack Overflow, stuff like that, you will become a much better programmer just being social with it, right? So uh, the three steps, I'll say read books, I'll say apply what you're learning, and then I would say share it publicly. Um, along with sharing it publicly, um, another real big reason um, I would say is getting on GitHub um, is to build a library of stuff you've learned, okay? Um, because the problem with programming is there's so much to learn. You'll never actually hold it all in your mind at one time. But what's very good is to have a library of code that you've built. So um, a bit like when, when you like uh, you read a book and you put it down, um, you, you know that you know some information and you know that it comes from that book. You're just not sure what the information is. It's very easy to remember, oh, I, I know this, I read it in that book. And you can go back and you can look in the book. Well, the same applies with your code and with your um, your websites and anything else you're building. So you wanna be pushing all of the code you write up to GitHub, in some, keeping some kind of library of your code so you can refer back to it if you get stuck. Um, and then as you encounter problems over and over again and you keep referring back to your libraries, eventually you won't have to refer back to your libraries, right? So those are the three, three or four main steps I would say are very important in learning to code. It starts with reading, it starts with practicing, and it starts with documenting and making those documents public. Um, and just and being uh, social with it, right? So that's it for now, guys. Um, I just thought I'd make that quick video, some tips that I thought I'd share with you guys because a lot of you are asking. Um, and if you follow that strategy, you can pretty much, um, you'll learn to code quite easily. So I hope it helps. Please leave comments below if you've got any other tips for anybody else because it's a very tough thing to, to do. Um, but as long as you're motivated as long as you absolutely love it as long as you're doing it because you enjoy it you're going to be able to do it okay and um, it should be something you really love doing it should be something you look forward to doing um, and when you're doing it it should be like good fun times and um, you know a good space for you to be in. If, if you don't have that um, and it's, you're feeling like you're pushing it maybe it's not for you seriously guys like you have to be you have to be um, very um, into it to be able to look, to be able to come good at programming. Otherwise, you just why why do it? You know, if you don't, if you're not enjoying it, there's other ways to make money. There's other things you can do. Um, programming is not the be all and end all. Um, but for those who do really like it and really enjoy it, those are my tips to help you learn it better. Um, like I said, I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Brett from BrettDev.com. Coming at you from Chiang Mai. Until next time, peace.